then Diesel. Then they all went together. They had so much fun they wanted to fetch their friends. They left their mini me's at the track and departed. They started splashing each other having a really fun time. Where's George? said Mummy suddenly. They looked around but couldn't see him. There he is, said Mummy, and they saw George out on the small island. I told you not to wander off. Crusty Crab. Once Sandy was in the kitchen, she told SpongeBob all about Plankton's evil plan to steal the secret ingredient. Then, all of a sudden, the airwaves were interrupted by a TV broadcast. Batman, come and look, said Robin. The broadcast showed that terrible villain, the Joker. Look, He's captured the fastest car in the world, Lightning McQueen, and he said he will only release him put on their beautiful dresses. Wow, smiled Sophia to Cinderella. You look wonderful. Thank you, replied Cinderella. But where is our carriage? Meanwhile, back at the palace, Prince Charming was fell on to Spencer. He braked but slid through, derailing on the bend. Oh dear, oh dear, said Thomas. I did warn you. When they arrived, they said hello to Cheerily and then went to sit down. They all gave Cheerily an apple, except George, who said that he was sorry, but he'd lost his apple. something burning. Oh no, my cake, she cried, but it was too late. The cake was burnt to a crisp. This is a disaster. I'll never have enough time to make another one. Hmm, I wonder if there's anyone who could help. knocked on his door, but he still couldn't hear them. Iron Man said that to make sure there's no cheating, Hulk will start the race. Hulk got into position and slammed his fist down on the starting handle. Thomas made the end of the track. Bill fell short and Dash didn't dash. I win, said Captain America. For apples when he heard a familiar voice say, Back again? It was Cinderella. Shining Armour explained that the carrot cake wasn't quite right and that this time he was looking for apples. Well, you won't find apples here in the bakery either, I'm afraid, she told him.
real mermaid. Look at my amazing tail. Jump in, smiled Ariel. And so Sophia did. This is amazing, said Sophia. And the two girls explored the beautiful underwater world. Whoa, where am I? This is awesome! Hello, I'm Steve. You are now in my world, the world of Minecraft. But when she tried to start the engine, it made a terrible noise. What's that noise? inquired Pepper, Sophie and Danny. It's Kitty's van. It won't start, cried Sophie. Don't worry Kitty, said Danny. I can call my grandpa. He's a mechanic. I'm sure he'll be able to fix the problem. Just do a couple of checks. She took Ariel upstairs for a quick x-ray. Everything looks fine, Molly said. But just as a precaution, we'll keep you here overnight. If we see that again, Thomas actually flew into the mouth. Mater, having another go. Oh, but still not powerful enough. So excitedly, they all rushed off. Except George. He could smell something delicious. There was a plate of cookies just left on the table. He climbed up on the chair, then onto the table. They were now all ready for the big race. They all started well, but Charlie just managed to go a little farther than Thomas. Bill was quite a way behind. Ariel appeared. Thank goodness you found him, said Ariel. I was looking everywhere for him. Just glad it wasn't a shark, chuckled Patch, and they all laughed in relief. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and take a look at some of our other videos by clicking these clips. See you soon!